Coach, just one open statement. Uh, tonight game was a, uh, uh, a game I thought our guys really went out and uh, defensively tried to establish themselves. It's, uh, first half, uh, give, give, give credit to NGIT. They hit some terrific shots uh, from, th from the three-point line. And, uh, but I thought our defense the first half still was pretty good. Uh, we didn't allow them to get it to the paint as much. Uh, we made one key adjustment the second half. Uh, that I thought turned the game around. The post guys really got around in front of the post and made it difficult for them to enter uh, on the block. And uh, to hold a team to 28% the second half, uh, that kudos goes to our defense. I thought our defense did a good job. Overall, uh, NGIT, I think, is, a, is a, 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 a very good basketball team. They're tough, very competitive. Our guys rose to the challenge. Uh, and really executed uh, the second half to give us that opportunity to win the basketball game. Proud of our guys. Tom, you said during the week you guys just tried to refine some things defensively. So what were some of those, those key things you wanted to see? And you, you mentioned the one adjustment in the, in the post. Can you kind of elaborate on that? Well, one of the things as we played Florida Gulf Coast, we were always embarrassed uh, about the result. Uh, we know that you can lose a basketball game. It was disappointing the way we played after the 10-minute mark. Uh, so what we did, uh, we scored everybody uh, during that game. And uh, in order for us to win a game, we had to, we had to hit the 70 percentile mark. Uh, when we played Florida Gulf Coast, that percentage wasn't even close to that. And so we just went back and reiterated defensively how we wanted to play, how we had to be in the gap, how we had to jump to the ball, contest shots, high hands. and then. Uh, just being tough. So all that stuff was scored every practice when we got back and um, every practice we got better. And it's, it's, it's really fitting uh, because they worked the tell off the last three days and to see some of the results the second half. Now granted, NJIT shot a terrific percentage the first half, but when I go back and look at the film as I was watching the game, we were right there. They made some good shots, and we made a, a few adjustments, and I thought that was the difference in the game. Yeah, you talked about the one in the post. Can you yeah. Well, the first half we were allowed them to catch it in the post, and that guy, the last game, he had nine assists. So he's very good. He's very active. He can find people. And he sucks you in, and he found the three-point shooters. And so we just tried to make sure he didn't catch the ball in the post. And, and uh, Larry and Bebe did a good job. And then when we went small, BJ did a terrific job as well. And one of the key guys for you guys tonight, Leo Goodman, was six yep. or six shooting, uh, seven rebounds off the bench. You know, their, their bench unit seemed to really pick up some energy in the first half and you know, draw the game close. How do you feel like Leo's contribution? Uh, you know, Leo has that uh, ability to be able to hit big shots. You know, we know he can shoot the three-point basket. Uh, he posts up a little bit. I just thought that he not only shot the ball well, but his defense was, was better. Uh, I thought he competed. I, seven rebounds shows that he was going to the glass. And those are the things that we, we talked about the last three days, just making sure that we, we worry about ourselves. And, and, and not that we didn't want to worry about NJIT, but we had some stuff that we had to clean up as a basketball team. And uh, Leo certainly did that in practice. His percentage rose, and uh, it's fitting that it, it transferred to the basketball game. Yeah, you mentioned that the game's out at Gulf Coast. You call it embarrassing. Divine called it a horrible display of basketball. Uh, to come back and, and, and win, it, win the next game, and particularly in the manner in which you did in the second half, how, how, does, how do you feel like that shows what you, what you guys are capable of? It's progress for us, and it just shows that uh, for, for, for us and our basketball team, we don't have the luxury of taking key possessions off. We got to play the entire game. And uh, if you don't do the little things right, you know, sometimes you look at that last shot, but it's not the last shot. It's a combination of those little things that you did wrong. And we wanted to clean that stuff up. We were better today. We were better as a basketball team today defensively. And I thought offensively we ran pretty smooth. Uh, but here again, for us, when I look at it, I think we got a big seal and we got uh, a lot of room to grow. And uh, that makes me excited. And, and um, hopefully it makes our team excited as well. This portion of the schedule, how do you treat these days in between? You've got you know, the game tonight, you've got the, day, you know, the next day, and you've got upstate Sunday, then we on Monday. So how do you treat these, these days in between the next few days? Well, what I emphasize to our guys is, we can't take a break. Now, I got to be smart, make sure they're not doing too much on their leg, but we can't take a break. And what I mean by that is uh, we don't want to go back to how we were 
how we played against Florida Gulf Coast. So mentally, we got to be focused in. And so we'll do some small things. We might not go as long, but we're still going to do some work to make us better and so that we're prepared for the, for the, for the next ball game. Got to make sure I take care of their legs. I'll do that. But I want them to be tuned in, ready to go. And that's from, from the least man to the greatest man on our team. Our success will be um, based off of not only the seniors, but also how well those freshmen continue to develop. And uh, they are a very important part of our basketball team. Today, today, Keith didn't play as much as he normally plays. He's usually in that double figure range as well. And uh, so those are the guys we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna, uh, uh, count on to to, 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 to to get our team moving and, and headed in the right direction. So those freshmen have a big role to play, uh, as well as Leo being a junior.